Hey guys, Cyril here. Welcome back to another episode of Minx's Story. So I'm actually going to be giving you some of his uh, backstory in this episode. So let's get started. Minx was born in Hammerfell, into a poor family and was weak as a child and so he wasn't able to defend himself. This caused problems when he started growing up and was bullied by a group called the Af Akaviri Black Canes. This group consisted of 10 different members and the leader was Kamatu. One day Kamatu and his group attacked Minx and left him for dead. Luckily, Minx was saved by a healer in the area. After Minx had recovered, he had decided it was time to get revenge, so he built up his strength and went to ambush Kamatu when he was away from the group. Minx was able to take advantage of Kamatu when he was away from the group, running errands for his family and assaulted him when no one was around, and started to attack him. Minx was able to get Kamatu to the floor by taking him from behind and started to repeatedly punch him in the face with all of his might, until a guard came up from behind him and dragged him off Kamatu and pushed him into the wall. The guard was Minx's father. Minx's father knew the trouble that Minx would have gotten into if Kamatu had told his father and informed the leader of Hammerfell. Minx's father rushed back home to grab supplies for Minx so he could escape Hammerfell. They rushed towards the gates, where they were stopped by three guards telling Minx's father to hand Minx to them. Of course, Minx's father thought this through, and took it into consideration. Then he unsheathed his sword and attacked the three guards and told Minx to make a run for it. As Minx was running out of the city, he turned around to see his father kill two of the soldiers, before getting stabbed in the back by the third and dying moments later. After Minx had successfully escaped Hammerfell, he got on the first carriage he could and taken to the next destination which was Skyrim.